today everyone we're gonna tackle about operant conditioning first what is operant conditioning operant conditioning is the process of learning behavioral patterns which are based on a certain stimuli from the environment such that the external stimuli leads to a certain behavior a human being knows the kind of consequences that our particular behavior will lead to and therefore to either encourage or discourage that consequences he will behave in a particular way. Operant conditioning has four subparts. First, positive reinforcement. Second, negative reinforcement. Third, positive punishment. And last is negative punishment. understand more about operant conditioning, we will give the meaning of punishment and reinforcement. When we say reinforcement, is any event or stimulus that when following a response, increase the probability that the response will occur again. And when we say punishment, any event or object that's when a following response less likely to happen again. Parts of operant conditioning reinforcement it is the reinforcement of a response by the addition or experience of a pleasurable stimulus when negative reinforcement it is the enforcement of a response by the removal escape from or avoidance of an unpleasant stimulus In this concept, a particular behavior pattern decreases to us to avoid dealing with something unpleasant later. A few moments later. Mm. What burger? Well, I don't want that kind of burger. It's a dog. <laughs> For the negative punishment, in this particular behavior pattern, it decreases so that a positive stimulus or object is not taken away or removed. I spent to you for your education. This is the score that you got. Sorry. Because of this, I will not give your one week allowance. What? You need to study and do not use your cellular phone. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.